Hello, welcome to my toilet review of Ruroni Kenshin, The Beginning. This is a live action Japanese movie based on a manga and anime or anime or whatever that is now on Netflix. I watched it, uh, I think it was last weekend. Uh, and now I'm going to talk a little bit about it. I, I, I've watched uh, like three with this is three or four movies of these uh, like uh, series of movies, Japanese movies that they start making them like in 2011 or something like that. I watched the first, I know that for sure. And I think I watched the second. And then I kind of forgot, forgot about it because I didn't think they would uh, make any more, you know? And uh, all of a sudden, like one month ago, uh, they showed uh, on Netflix a promotion for, uh, uh, I think it's the fourth movie in the series that was Kuroni Kenshin, the, the end or... Uh, yeah, like, it's like the f finishing the story. And this one is like, uh, it's a prequel telling the story how he became Ruroni Kenshin before he was Ruroni, that is Wandering Kenshin. He was Samurai X or Batusai, the Manslayer or something like that. <laughs> His name is uh, Kenshin Imura. So... The name Ruroni Kenshin, it's the, uh, yeah, you get it, the Kenshin that is wondering. And uh, I, I enjoy this movie a lot, but first I want to tell you how I, I know this. It's from uh, uh, the TV that uh, when I was in high school, I think last year of high school, this was on uh, like uh, cable, not cable, <laughs> what's the name? like normal TV, you know, uh, and uh, I would uh, arrive home and it was on, on TV, like uh, a cartoon block in, in the end of the afternoon and it was uh, dubbed in, into Portuguese and I would watch it and it was uh, great. Uh, it's like uh, the best anime that, that I ever watched, at least my favorite. And I think I only watched the first season of the animation because I think there was a second season that I never catch because uh, uh, I didn't finish in, it didn't finish before I went to to the university, so I wasn't watching it on the university. Then I I tried to watch it in <laughs> Japanese, and uh, I was so used to the Portuguese voices that I couldn't finish it. Also, so, so then I watched the the movies live action. The first one was great. And uh, I'm not sure if I watched the second, if, you, if I watched the second probably it wasn't as good as the first one. And then uh, this, uh, the second to last one was good but not great. And now this one, this is great. This film is brutal. Like uh, if you know anything about Roroni Kenshin, after he left the, the Batusai moniker and the, the Batusai life, he, he swore on his uh, whatever, maybe on his sword, uh, to never kill again. And he, he had a, a sword with a reverse blade made with the, the cutting edge turned to him and the, the non-cutting edge turned to the enemy. So he wouldn't uh, fall in the temptation, uh, a temptation uh, or make a mistake and kill somebody. It was like a blunt instrument instead of a a cutting uh, sword and there's some philosophical thing about it and wh whatever uh, I guess but the action in this movie is brutal is uh, well in all the movies it's brutal and uh, very well uh, executed you know like uh, the, the like the choreography is amazing well it looks real you know but everything in this um, in this uh, uh, manga, anime, manga, I don't know, but anime and the movies, 
there was always a, an element that is uh, typical in Japanese animation that is kind of over the top. Like, uh, this movie tiles that a lot down, tiles down that thing a lot. Only a few times you see uh, things going over the top. Because Kenshin is not over the top, but carrot, side characters, main side characters and mostly his enemies are over the top. Also some of his friends. But this is the beginning. So most of the friends you've met in the animation and in the first movies, they are not there. Only him, like uh, of the main cast. I think he's the only one really. The main uh, core cast of his, him and his uh, crew. And uh, some of, um, of his uh, enemies are like more uh, grounded, you know? still lacking the, the crazy things that uh, you see in the rest. And I appreciate that a lot. The action is, uh, like I said, is brutal. Brutal like uh, bloody as hell. But brutal in the sense that, uh, like... you, It's like... <laughs> how can they do that? How are they able to do it, you know? And uh, still you believe it. But there is a lot of uh, slow moments, like uh, uh, without action. Not uh, a lot of dialogue, but you know, like uh, contemplative. The cinematography is beautiful. The design and production value is great. Like uh, wardrobe, whatever, you know. You feel like it's real, really Japan in the 19th century. I think it's uh, 18 something. Like when uh, Shogunat was uh, dying and the empire was rising, something like that is the revolution. I think it's the time when, when this is supposed to happen, when samurais are dying, like dying, uh, disappearing, going into, into hiding. And uh, kind of uh, Kenshin is one of the last ones and in the end he uses a sword but is not uh, like a proper samurai because he doesn't kill, I guess. And... Uh, in the there are hints of uh, the the story so it's not like a surprise the story is not a surprise but it's great that you kind of learn how he became Roroni Kenshin and uh, and the action and <laughs> the story is good the action is great so if you are a fan of Japanese action movies especially ones that uh, are about samurais and uh, based on animation and whatnot. I highly, highly recommend this movie. And going by my rating, I give it one poop emoji out of uh, 10 poop emojis. L like one, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't stink. It is a really good movie. And uh, if you can watch it in Japanese with subtitles, if you have difficulties, uh, like with uh, keeping it up, yeah, maybe watch the dub in English, I guess. I watched it uh, in Japanese and I appreciate it a lot. So now I still need to flush.